So today we're going to be doing a string three problem. The problem is count YZ and the problem reads, given a string, count the number of words ending in Y or Z. So the Y in heavy and the Z in fast count, but not the Y in yellow. We'll say that a Y or Z is at the end of a word if there is not an alphabetic letter immediately following it. Note, character dot is letter char tests if a character is an alphabetic letter. So for this first example, we have two as the output because the Z in Fez and the Y in day are both at the end of the words. Um, for this program, I want to have a couple of variables. First one is int length. And we want to set str.length. Uh, we're doing this just for convenience uh, purposes later on. And um, another one is int count. Set that as zero. This variable is going to hold all the occurrences of the Z's and the Y's at the end of the words. And just in case we want to make sure that the variable str is all lowercase. Dot to lowercase. Um, so we, for this program, we want to run a for loop and go through every single one of the letters and see if first see if uh, any of the letters are Y's or Z's. And if they are, we want to make sure that they are in the right positions. And if they are, we want to increase count by one. So for int i equals zero, i is less than length, i plus plus. This will run the for loop throughout the entire string. Um, so first if, if str dot char at i equal equal y or str dot char at i equal equal z. Now if it's a y or a z, then we want to check if it's at the end of the words. So for the first case, we're going to check if it's the first word and at the end of the first word. So to do that, if i is less than length minus 1 and not character dot is letter str dot char at i plus one. Now this if statement is checking if the word is the first word and if the character immediately following the character that we're checking is a space. In that case, um, it is true for uh, the character being the last letter of the first word. Now, if this is the case, then we want to add one to count. Um, next, we want to check for if it's the second word. So else if i equal equal length minus one. Now, this is checking if the character is at the position of length minus one. And if that's the case, then we're going to add one to count. And at the end of the for loop, we want to return count. And that's it.